back with us now, GOP pollster Lee Carter and Fox News contributor Liz Peek. It's great to have you both on. Lee, let's first start with you. I'm going to ask you both about this. Growing speculation Hillary Clinton, Clinton may run again. The Clintons just restarted their Clinton Global Initiative next month in New York City. I mean, they ended that seven years ago in 2016 when Hillary launched her presidential campaign, Lee. What do you think? Well, I can't imagine that it's true, but there's certainly an app appetite among Democrats to have somebody besides Joe Biden run. About 60 percent of Americans say they want to see somebody besides Joe Biden run. And I think Hillary Clinton can't help herself. If you looked at polling back in February, they said that she was the third most popular candidate beside, behind Biden and, and Harris. So I, I could see why she might want to, but I, I don't think that she has a shot. <laughs> what Lee just said, Liz, you know, the Clinton Global Initiative and the Clinton Foundation have been considered incubators for potential White House workers in a Hillary White House run. You think she's going to run again, Liz? What do you think? I don't think so. And the reason is Jeffrey Epstein, Liz. I think the Clintons were much more involved in Jeffrey Epstein, or at least Bill was, than we know. And I think that would come out in a campaign. The only person really pulling for Hillary Clinton to run again is Hillary Clinton. So Jeffrey Epstein would hang her up. That's that would Absolutely. be the problem, right? All right. Here's the issue too. I think so. The media so that would really hurt Hillary and if she tried again. The media increasingly worried about Biden's crashing poll numbers, you know, and how his numbers look more like Hillary Clinton in 2016 than Biden 2020. Lee, let's get your reaction to this. Watch this. Trump was right. I mean, he did make a fortune from China and Joe Biden was wrong. I don't know that he was lying about it. He might not have been told by Hunter, but this blind spot is a problem. That was the wrong sound. Can we, do we have, we'll play the sound later in the hit. You know, uh, Lee, Biden is in the 30s in Quinnipiac and the other polls. Yeah, he's really, I mean, it's, it's, it's as low, I think, as anyone in recent time, and it's certainly much lower than even Donald Trump was. And I think the most troubling thing for Joe Biden is that when you look at certain issues like the economy, he's only polling about 65 percent with Democrats. If you think about that for a minute, Donald Trump never polled below 90 percent among his key supporters. When you're that low among your key supporters, it could mean that you're not going to have voter turnout. It could mean somebody turns to a third party, or it could mean that they're open to somebody else entirely. I think it's a really big problem that's understated at this moment. Um, and I think Democrats should should really think about this carefully, because in many cases, I think they're very thankful to see Donald Trump doing so well. I think Joe Biden can beat Donald Trump no matter what. But with these kind of polling numbers, I don't think that's true. Got it. OK, so, Liz, we also have bad housing, right? A bad housing market. I mean, the worst affordability crisis ever, according to the National Association of Realtors. Fed officials may say they're going to keep rate hikes higher for longer when they meet at Jackson Hole. I mean, Liz, when you look at the numbers coming in on, you know, what is going on in the housing markets, I mean, the mortgage rates are more than double than what they were under Trump. Let's listen to voters and their reaction to what they think about all this. Watch this. He's too old. He can't go a week without making another gaffe and embarrassing our country on the national stage. I really do respect what Biden has done, and I really do think that he is what we needed in the, that time. Mm -hmm. But I can't help but feel like he's the safe option. Mm -hmm. And I, I particularly am tired of going for the safe option. Joe Biden is an embarrassment to the Democrat Party. What do you think, Liz? I think he is an embarrassment to the Democrat Party. But more importantly, as voters assess whether or not they're better off than they were under Trump, they're going to decide that spending $700 plus more per month for average household goods, spending more than 50% more per month for carrying a house, which increasingly has become unaffordable, all these things, Liz, pile up. People are really struggling. We have over a trillion dollar uh, in, in credit card debt now, and the price of that credit card debt is way over 20%. Yeah. I think we're going to see a slowdown, and that will be blamed rightly on Joe Biden. He needs to step out of the race. But I have to tell you, right now, I think the only viable candidate, if he steps out late in the campaign, is Michelle Obama, not Hillary Clinton. Got it. Let's listen to the media. Now we've got the media sound from this weekend. Watch this. 
I think Biden has basically got three issues where he's not figured out what to say. Okay, one is obviously the questions about Hunter Biden, his son. The other is what to say about the investigations into Donald Trump. And the third is about his age. Those are three massive issues that are sort of clouding his reelection well, campaign, and he's not figured out what to say. Stuff has taken a huge toll on him. His numbers now look more like Hillary Clinton 16 than Biden 20. The polling indicates that Trump is, in fact, in a stronger position at this point than he was during the entire 2020 campaign. If we had state-level polling, I wouldn't even be surprised if Trump were ahead in the swing states that are most important, Jim. Lee, final word. Yeah, I just think that, that Biden really does have to make his case on a number of fronts. Number one, when you talk about Hunter Biden, more than half of Americans think that there's a real problem there. That's a 20 percent increase in the last four weeks. The economy, he's he's underwater on the economy. That's the number one most important to issue to Americans. And most people question whether or not he's fit to run again. He's really got a lot of messaging that got he's got to do. You're looking at a live shot of the president, the first lady just now landing in Maui, Hawaii. We're going to stay on the story. Lee Carter, Liz Peake, thanks for your insights tonight. We'll have you back on. Thank you.